Hi, everyone. I'm Eric. I'm here to talk about my um, Stackathon project. Um, and it's kind of based off the work we were doing with the Stack Store. Uh, we had f worked with our first uh, full stack React bo boilerplate in that project. And the name of the project was Bones. Uh, Bones is a really robust tool. It offers Express, uh, SQLize, Redux, React, uh, all out of the box. Uh, the problem is it, it took a little while to get the hang of it, and I found that a big portion of the project was to understand the boilerplate before we could start executing our work. I don't know if that's just like a personal hang-up or if that's just the kind of uh, you know, user experience that everybody had with it, uh, but it was kind of weird working with this foreign boilerplate um, and not having a full understanding of what your project is built on. Um, so one project that we, I really love, and I think some people in the class do too, is Create React App that the uh, Facebook incubator came out with about six months ago. Uh, it's really great. It's, it uses Webpack Dev Server, Babel, uh, all of these things to get you up and running really quickly. Uh, and it also uh, kind of conceals a lot of the configuration files that you need to make. Uh, it's really quick to, you know, you just do npm run start and you're able to look at your React app uh, in no time and then start iterating on that. Uh, the one problem with it is that it's all front end uh, out of the box. So I was curious to see if we could add Express and SQLize uh, to the existing Create React app. So it kind of involved getting under the hood. Uh, there's one command called npm run eject uh, in the Create React app, which will reveal uh, all the configuration files and allow you to customize it. Um, so that's pretty much the way this project went. Um, you can see it's kind of building on top of Create React app. Uh, and really, it boiled down to creating an Express server and just appending it to our, web, uh, our Webpack dev server. Uh, so you can see here, I went into the Create React app script, which is you know, very large, and just added one import, which is the Express server that we're defining for the project. And then when it comes time to define the dev server, uh, we're just saying use app server and appending it to that. So all of our routes are added to the Webpack server. Uh, so we can do npm run start and then have the database uh, and the Express set up going. Um, so there's, of course, a lot of other stuff to set up the templates and make sure that uh, the user experience was pretty straightforward and clear. Uh, had to set up a few other commands because loading the back end and the front end started to slow down a bit. Um, but a really fun part of this, too, was learning how to publish on NPM. Um, so we put this up a while ago to, you know, right after the uh, Stackathon. And it's gotten some interest on NPM, uh, starting to like, learn how to do versioning uh, and republish your updates. Uh, super straightforward. It's just a matter of changing the version and saying NPM publish, and it, it publishes really in no time. Um, so it was a fun project. We're, we're using this for our final project uh, in the course, and of course, unveiled a few bugs and uh, roadblocks in the process. So ideally, I want to um, keep working on this and remove the eject requirement uh, so that we can keep it all under the hood and keep that covered up from the end developer. Um, so that's it. Download it at Create React App Full Stack. <laughs>